There he is. Boy, I mean, you talk about a light bite. That was a light bite right there. Nice crappie, though. Y'all know I'm a fan of little bitty baits. I've talked about it before on my channel. When crappie are real, real active, you can throw them big baits and you can get away with it. And there's times when a bigger bait's good, but let's talk about what I'm throwing today because this is a little bitty dude. That's a trout magnet. I've done, I did a couple videos last fall about it, but it's basically just a, a little bitty version of the crappie magnet and we all know how effective that is um <clears throat> this little bait i'm gonna say it's right about it's probably about an inch long and that's a 164th ounce the trout magnet jig head nickel color really good little jig head got a super sharp little hook in it and the shape of that jig head it hooks those fish really really well i don't lose many fish on it I've got a size five split shot right up the line from that just to help get it down some. Um, and I'm using four pound vicious 100% fluorocarbon leader and I've got five pound vicious panfish braid right here. 2,500 size reel, six foot six mustad detector light action rod. So that's the setup we're gonna be using today. Let's get back out there. See if we can't get another one a pile of them down there and there's some nice ones too man it's a fell right into them got him that didn't take long i'm telling you man that's a good little bait it's just small looks real natural these are some good fish right here too i've been out here for a couple of hours this morning just looking around, looking for some new stuff. And I idled over this spot, saw a few fish down there. So I put active target down there and sure enough, there's a pile of them down there. Another one about 11, 11 and a half inches. Good keeper. I'll let y'all see what I'm looking at right here. You can see a, a big brush pile right here and there's some definitely some crappie around it. I'm scan a little bit over to the right. Another brush pile right out in here. And that's where I'm catching those crappie from. But there's several of them in there. That's enough talking. I got to get back in there and catch them. Forgot to show you guys what color I'm using. This is called Killer Clat. A little trout magnet is. Um, and I just, you can see right there, I just took some chartreuse spike it dye and just dyed the, shark, dyed the tail chartreuse just a little bit. I just feel like that makes it look a little more natural. There's one. What a nice crappie. Hadn't caught a great big one out of there yet, but definitely some good keepers in there. Another one about that same size. Pretty fish. Seem to be biting pretty good this morning. There he is. Another, no, that's not a crappie. That's a yellow bass. Now, there's a bunch of these in this lake. And uh, I think a lot of people get confused sometimes. They, they see them on their forward facing sonar or whatever. And it's just a little yellow bass. He's akin to a white bass or in the stripe family but uh they run right with the crappie i mean they'll they'll stay right with the crappie especially this time of the year you see a lot of them but um don't get discouraged if you catch a couple of those because probably some crappie close by there we go that's a crappie I feel them, them big head shakes. Wall, wall, wall. Crappie fishermen, y'all know what I'm talking about. 
Yes, sir. That crappie's got a real wide body and he fights different than a lot of other fish that are real streamlined. It's not a real fast fight. It's that, it's that uh, kind of got a lull to it. When you set the hook on them, you know exactly what it is. Gosh, that's a lot of fun. I tell you, I, <laughs> I'm really, I've always been a straight mono guy when it come to casting for crappie and stuff, but I'm really liking this braid to fluorocarbon setup on these light action rods because i can just feel so darn good it's it's amazing i can feel every little thing that goes on down there i got crappie looking at my bait right now got one of them it's a good one too another one about that same size man this spot is absolutely loaded with them that might be the best one of the day so far isn't that funny that little bitty little bait Crappie don't feed on real big baits. I mean, they will. A crappie's got a pretty decent sized mouth. That's a black, but especially a white crappie has a pretty decent sized mouth and they can feed on big baits. You know, they'll eat big shad and stuff. But most of the time when I clean crappie, I find little bitty small baits, little small minnows and stuff. So I just think it's key to try to match that. And I, Honestly, I don't think a lot of people are throwing these small baits much yet. I think it'll it'll definitely catch on within the next few years for sure. But I think as of right now, there's not a lot of people doing it. There's another one. Another nice one too. a good keeper jokers are biting this morning these cool nights they they can feel that water temperature coming down they know what's just around the corner they know what's going on they know what time it is i feel like that size flat five split shot is about the perfect size for this deal right here too um now i don't have any wind today it's basically slick calm out here you know if i had more wind to deal with or something i'd have to go to a little bit bigger size split shot obviously but that size number five is is about perfect for today it doesn't doesn't overpower the bait still lets the bait have good action and i can hold it in front of those fish's face when i want to that's pretty important there he is A smaller one there black nose this particular lake has whites blacks and black noses all three pretty stripe running down his head they'll get up there pretty big too i catch some big black noses there's one Another one about that same size, but that's a white crappie there. A little bit different tendencies. They don't seem to be quite as finicky as a black crappie does. Sometimes a black crappie can be a real, real finicky creature. White crappie seem to be a little less finicky, but I think they're cool fish because I don't catch near as many of them. I know certain parts of the world, they catch more whites and less blacks. Um, but I don't, I don't catch a whole lot of whites in, in my part of the country, but they are definitely here. There's one. Feels like a nice one. Oh yeah. Good crappie there best one yet this morning trout magnet does it again same color killer clat chartreuse tail a little split shot up above it it doesn't take a big bait to catch a big crappie and crappie can see really good too they got if you'll notice 
Crappies got pretty dang big eyes. They can they can see good. They can feel good. They know what's around them. And uh, killer little bait, man. It really is. A little later on in the winter, you know, I'll start using some bigger baits and stuff. But right now, I'm enjoying using these smaller baits because they get a lot of bites. What I like to do right now, I'm staying. I'm about 30. That brush pile starts at about 30 feet, and I'm going to scoot up just a little bit. Uh, something I'm starting to realize, as long as you're fishing past about 12 feet deep or so, I'd say, you can get real close to these crappie. They're not, they're not near as spooky. Well, I'll say this. They're not near as spooky as bass are. But what I like to do, I like to cast past them and let my jig get on down there, and then I like to ease it into them. I just feel like it's more natural that way than if that jig just falls straight down on top of them. So if you if you can, always try to cast past that brush pile or whatever it is you're fishing. And uh, that's a good fish right there. I can see him on active target. Try to cast past it and uh, come into them. I think it looks more natural. I think you get more bites that way. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, check this out. Look how he swallowed that little trout magnet just swallowed it he was a hundred percent fooled by that little bait right there that's a cool little deal another good keeper you can see my stuff sink, sinking right here see how i cast it just past those fish and then when it gets down to them i'm just gonna start easing it right over the top of them make them come up for it There's another one. Another one just ate the heck out of it. Look at that. I've talked about it before, but you know I don't care if you're crappie fishing, bass fishing, what you're doing. When they're eating it like that, you got the right deal going on. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap up another one. Another fun day. I actually got up hot today. It started out fairly cool this morning. You can definitely feel fall in the air first thing in the morning, but then later on in the day, it's still getting up into the 80s. But the water temperature today was down to about 77. So that's better than the 87 that it was a couple of weeks ago. So we're going in the right direction. Uh, they're biting, catching a, catching a lot of numbers right now, just not a lot of those great big ones. A lot of that has to do with where I've been fishing also. But if you wanna get some bites, if you wanna catch a lot of crappie, try that little trout magnet, man, cause it's a deadly little bait. The way I had it rigged up, gets a lot of bites and it'll catch you a lot of crappie, especially when they're real finicky, uh, like they are this time of year. So appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.